This edition shows the completion of a number of projects. Uh, first one is this knife made in boxwood. Boxwood is the most amazing stuff to work. Uh, it grows at the rate of about one inch in a hundred years and it is like silk to carve. The finish you can get on this material is awesome. Getting the right size rivets for the handle proved problematic, so I used boat nails. This boat is being restored by a good friend, Anita Hector, and it just needed some last finishing touches. To inspect the boat, I had to go and visit the boathouse, and my surprise, at the end there is a beautiful forge, complete with just about everything you need. Nice anvil. Coming back from Anita's, I just couldn't resist uh, adding this video clip from the car. Coming into Hustad now with uh, the very good Salmon River on the left. And there coming up on the left again is Hustad Church with my Shirke ship hanging in it, or rather the Shirke ship I made. Very fond of that building now. These are the oar pins for the boat. Um, I've gone into quite a bit of detail here because I think this is quite fun. Um, the material I used was just some wood growing in the garden. I'd left it to season for a while. Here you can see it being mounted on the lathe. The lathe is a Denford Viceroy, which I uh, equipped with a single phase motor after having bought it at an auction. The, um, I don't use jigs for sharpening. Um, I think it's very important for people to understand and get to feel the tool uh, all the way through. The angle feels right, the angle feels wrong. You soon get to know what's right. I've never used the GoPro before for um, filming wood turning. I, perhaps it doesn't get close enough, but um, at least you can see the work and the camera doesn't get full of dust. I've decided to share my um, wood turning skills and um, I've started a few small classes. This is uh, Christine and Christian from Molde. Last time I showed you the um, little trolley I use for moving the outboard motor. This time I thought it might be fun to show you actually the process involved in moving the motor. Uh, the motor weighs 45 kilos, what's that, 90, 95 pounds. So it's quite a lump, but it's um, the technique I've developed is uh, quite successful. The um, trolley has six wheels which rotate so it makes it really useful on uh, lifts like upstairs and things like that. Lifting is always about technique. Use your body, not your back. It 
In the middle of the week, I received an invitation to visit Radar's um, printing, money, money making work, money printing work. And um, this, this is just fascinating watching this press, which literally presses the shape into a coin. When you hear talk of mint condition, you actually can't really appreciate it till you've seen the quality of this, these coins. These are 100% perfect. The um, polish on them is actually imparted by the press. Another fish tri fishing trip and uh, long lining. I trust this is not getting too tedious, but I still get such a buzz out of it. This time, uh, the first fish was a bit of a surprise, you'll see. good size cod here is about um, 30 pounds. Further north, when you get up to Lufotens and such like, it jolly nearly doubles. Cod are the most aggressive predators you can think of. That mouth will engulf pretty much anything. And another long-term project is finished. Finally, finally, finally got the boat onto the supports with a good deal of help from Finn and Carl Karlsvik, who um, I later learnt um, can remember me from, blimey, the late 50s. He um, had a little conversation with my father and I was standing beside my father in Mulder. <laughs> wow. I can't speak for the others, but this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And there was so much to learn and so much to get right. Uh, the boat weighed about two tons, so of course, any mistakes and uh, the whole thing wouldn't work. Um, it seemed to, in fact, go very smoothly in all. So Finn said, have we done everything we can to lighten the load? And I suddenly thought to myself, is there any water in the boat? Um, yes, there was. So the big moment finally came, and before I could even take a breath, Finn was driving the trailer out from underneath the boat. Oh, 
Hey, brother Henson, no man. Fantastic! So finally it's done. What should one say? What should one feel? Um, I've spent two years planning this. Uh, felt very, very uh, worried, concerned about the strength of the structure. But it seemed to work and here, looking up the valley, yes, it's right. During my visit to Anita, I could make out her favourite uh, neighbours, the herons, sunning themselves on the far bank. Uh, as you can see, there is one up on the right there, with his wings stretched out, and he must... All the others are not talking to him, so it's quite obvious he's the one that is uh, the extrovert. 